Good afternoon, guys. It's Mr. Norton here. Um, you're going to be doing some stage diagrams in the not too distant future. So I'm just recording a quick video for you to show you how to draw them properly and also how we need to lay them out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a rectangle that's going to represent your stage. And more importantly than that, the first thing you need to do is label where your audience is going to be. This is important because your set needs to face the audience and we need to know exactly where they're sitting to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Once you've labelled the audience, you need to start drawing in your furniture. Now, a bird's eye view is what we use to draw a stage diagram. So I'm just extending uh, the arrows here just to show you where the audience extends out to. And now I'm about to start in a moment drawing out the rest of the stage. I'm going to start with a table in the middle of the stage. And I'm using my shape tool for this just so I get a nice, neat circle. I'd also be using the shape tool to draw some nice, neat squares as well to represent chairs around the outside. Once I've done that, I'm going to show you how to draw a window. A window is very simple. You just need to draw an external rectangle. So one on the outside of the, the audience square itself. And then finally, I'm going to show you exactly how to draw a door. My door is going down stage right. You draw an arrow to indicate how the door opens. And then you get your eraser out and just give that a little rub so it's nice and clear. Once you've done all that, that's how it needs to be laid out. However, it's important that stage diagrams are also labelled. This enables us to see what these shape represent, but also it makes it nice and neat as well and clear to anyone that's looking at it exactly what they are looking for. You can use your box tool for this. You can drag that up and then you can start to label the diagram as such. So I'll first of all label my door. It's important to label where the door leads to with all entrances and exits. It's always important to indicate where they lead to because that could be an extremely important part of the script that we need to take into account. Once we've done that, it's very, very easy just to start annotating the rest of it. That's not a table, that's a chair. So we're gonna to need to quickly rub that out. There we go. Much better, there we go. And we're gonna label the table up as well. And then once we've done this, we're also going to label up the chairs and the window. There's the window. There we go. Now the final thing you need to do, if you've got any actors on stage, you're going to need to mark them with an X. So I'm going to use a different colour for this. I'm going to go into the colour palette in a moment. I'm just going to select blue, because that's one colour I haven't used. There we go. And I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to label these characters up. So this one here we'll call Mr Jones, just for the sake of argument. And then the one down the bottom we are going to call Sarah. And that is a completed stage diagram.